Breaking news, my wonderful people. Nigeria INEC in a big scandal. As Nigerian ask, as Nigerians ask, INEC should tell us. Okay, they should tell Nigerians who comp who has composed the INEC system and has kicked them out. Because they cannot even defend themselves. They can't tell us exactly what is going on. They are not even <laughs> since the matter came up, you saw the video. We produced the video to you that um, you know they've included some terrible names or wrong names people from brazil people from china into nigeria electoral system list and what have you since that whole thing came out INEC has not been able to defend it and they used uh, emo state as a case study yes INEC has not been able to defend the matter INEC has been quiet INEC has been so much so quiet and this is what is happening okay INEC has been so quiet this is what is happening so this is what is going on. They cannot even defend themselves. So there's a big scandal going on. Let's get all the details. Honorable Uche has stated that it is insufficient for INET to come out and say that it is still in the process of cleaning up data of newly registered voters. Uche said that INEC should go a step further and tell Nigerians who composed the INEC system who puts them the list together and, and as alleged by CUPP and uploaded fake identities into the INEX system during the voters registration process. They should tell us. Uche stated that since CUPP made the allegations, INEC has only come out to say that it is still in the process of cleaning up the data. They could not deny what happened and that it is still in the process of cleaning up the data and 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 was prov and that was provided by registered voters during the last registration process uche said INEC has not categorically denied some fake identities that we uploaded into the system using 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 uh, uh, emo state as a case study according to uche INEC should not INEC should not just say that the commission is still in the cleaning up process. Rather, INEC should tell Nigerians who managed to gain access into a system and upload the fake identities, fake names, fake genders, and fake date of birth. We need to know. Uche went on to say that CUPP did not get the evidence it is parading from on parading from on verified source. It got it from the people. He went on further to say that if the identity of the of the people, of the persons who committed the crime, such persons will be kicked out from the commission so that Nigerians can know and be sure of the conspiracy to tamper for 2023 because we are not sure of INEC and we cannot depend on INEC to carry out a clean election at this point in time. How can you carry out an election? when we are not sure of you okay when we are not sure of you we don't know who you are so INEC is in a big scandal okay there is a conspiracy going on and INEC has not been able to INEC has not been able to stand up and defend themselves so the conspiracy the conspiracy okay cannot cannot you know cannot cannot uh, they can't come out of it so whether you like it or not enough is enough Nigerians are rising up and are saying if you don't do this, he will be so shocked and surprised at some of the things that are coming out. You know, we, we are watching them very critically. Okay. And we are watching them very critically and we know exactly what is going on. We're not going to stand back and look at them. Okay. And we're not going to stand back and keep quiet and look at them and allow them to carry out, you know, all the, all their, all their, all their trick and wicked atrocities that keep Nigeria perpetually in a very demand position as a nation we these people have destroyed the very fabric of what makes us a nation this people have destroyed it and we have nothing particularly we have nothing particularly you know to to say it's us as a nation these people have destroyed the very fabric of this nation and everybody's quiet everybody's quiet and looking at it okay so these are some of the things that are going on we can't continue like this. We just can't continue like this. Okay? We can't continue. No, not now, not ever. We can't continue like this. 
the days of allowing these things to go on, okay, must come to an end. These people are not giving up at all. These people are not giving up at all. They are not. They are still on it. They just want to ensure that they take over the very essence of this country. They destroy Nigeria to shreds. And then those who, who, who send them know them. We are not going to allow it, are we? So people are asking. I ne you know when the whole CUPP came out and said, this is what is going on. We are not just giving you fables. We are not just trying to give you stories. You know, we are telling you with evidence and fact some of the things that are going on. Yes, and when they came out, guess what we are thinking? That, you know, INEC will come out and say, no, don't destroy the commission. What you have said is a lie, blah, blah, blah. No, they did not deny it. Though. They say, eh, they are looking at, but again, this was what CPP said. They said, listen, for anybody to gain access, for anybody to gain access into the INEC data, somebody within the INEC commission, gave them the access to register those people, the fake names. Who is the person? INEC commissioners and the rest should come out. They should come and tell us who these persons are. They should come out and tell us who these persons are, who gave them the, the, the authority and the tribe to get in. Who are these people? They can't do nothing. They can do nothing. So they should come out and tell us who are these people and what exactly is going on. What exactly is going on? So you see, there are all kinds of things happening and uh, we want the country to be changed. We want better opportunity for our children. Those in diaspora wants to be able to come home. You know, they want to be able to come home and know that they are coming to a nation that they grew up in, that, you know, where they went to school around, had friends, some have traveled, some are still around. They want to be able to mix around and just, you know, be able to do, do things well. But currently, what we have now has destroyed everything called trust. Has destroyed everything called trust, and Nigerians are not even, they can't even depend on the people and can't even trust them. These are the people who want to rule Nigeria. Sadly, every one of us must rise up to the occasion. Sadly, every one of us must not allow them, okay, to bamboozle us, not, no, not ever again. The days of allowing them to bamboozle us and get away with it should be over and done away with so that we can truly forge ahead and make a nation that we are proud of, that we can call our home. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Remember that you have a voice. The elections are around the corner. This people will want to take advantage of us. Never let it. Bye for now.